custom firearms and today we're going to be doing a little bit of maintenance um, here I've got uh, about 500 uh, freshly trimmed and new primers and and sized uh, 223 rounds and uh, what we're going to be working on before I move into any more of that is we're going to do a little bit of die maintenance um, you know it's important to keep all of your products in a good working condition. Now I've already got a video out there for all of you guys using the Lee Progressive uh, Press. It's a maintenance video just to kind of talk about how to keep it clean and maintained and keep everything functioning properly on it. But today what we're going to talk about is die maintenance. All right, So um, it's important to keep your dies uh, in tip top shape um, because that's that's what does all the work. You know, the press is the is the apparatus in which holds everything, but the dies are really what does the work. Now, for 223, basically what I do, and if you've seen my videos on uh, case preparation for 223 and reloading 223, and I'll put a couple of annotations here for you. They're older videos, so uh, excuse the you know, video quality. It's before some of the first videos that I made, but still how I load 223. Um, you'll notice that I do all of my decapping and, and neck sizing on a single stage press. And then what that does is it keeps me from, because once I decap and resize, I want to check the length of the case, make sure that I don't need to resize it. And if I do need to resize it, then I can go ahead and trim it and uh, chamfer and deburr it and all that good stuff. So um, that's obviously something that, you know, it, it works out better that way than to throw a bunch of them in a progressive press. And so I'll, I'll decap and resize um, with my decap and resizing die. And then I'll throw them halfway through my in my progressive press and use my bullet seat and my crimp die uh, for that. So um, with your bullet seat and your crimp die, basically what you want to do with those, and I don't, I don't think I'm going to put that in the video, just take them out, pull them apart, make sure you clean them. Hops number nine, uh, any gun cleaning uh, solvent works really good to clean the insides of your dies and then lube them up real good with some oil. Now, carbide dies, they don't need lubrication for your bullet seating and things like that, but it's good to keep a thin coat of oil on them to keep them from rusting up, all right, because they will rust. Um, but what we're going to focus on mainly today is our uh, decap and resize die because that's where all the dirty rounds go. That's where the, you know, right out of the right out of the gate, that's where they go. So this one is the one that, that needs the maintenance, and I'm going to give you a few tips on maintaining this die. So let's go ahead and get started. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and pull my decap resizing die apart, and I don't have it in the press now. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cinch it up in my vise here, um, just right on the lock ring, just cinch it down. It doesn't have to be super tight. It's not going to matter if it's super tight anyway but just an extra set of hands to hold it. And we'll use a three quarter inch wrench to place on the die itself and then we'll use a half inch wrench to put on the uh, retaining nut up here in the top. All right, and then we'll just break them loose. Ah. All right, and then we'll just take our retaining nut out here and pull our shaft right out. Now this is the um, the uh, obviously the decapping um, pin here on the bottom. That's what pushes your old primer out. And then this here is actually what expands the neck. All right, it expands the opening. And the uh, the carbides are really neat. And you'll get a lot of a lot of times I get a lot of people. Um, on my case prep video, um, they'll say, oh, you don't need lubrication, you don't need lubrication on carbide dies. You still need lubrication on this carbide die. If you don't lubricate, what happens is your case will actually get stuck up in your die. So I don't care, you know, if, you've, um, uh, if you say that or not, but anybody that has reloaded uh, 223, even with the carbide lee dies, um, you still have to have it. So what we're going to do is clean this up. You can see the gunk on there. 
we're going to clean it up and we're going to put a high speed polish on our uh, exp on our expansion part there um, and that'll make uh, the actual resizing part a lot smoother of a process so we'll clean that up and then what we're also going to do is down inside of our die housing here we're going to use some uh, hops number nine and uh, just use a q-tip and go down in there and clean that out real good and get that cleaned up and then we'll put a thin coat of oil on it but let's get working on this uh, on the shaft here. Alright so the first thing we want to do is just go ahead and remove the retaining nut from the shaft itself. Alright it should just pull right off of there. We want to do that and then we'll just wipe it off with a rag and you'll get most of the grime off with that rag. Um, most of it's going to be just you know on there for, it's going to be a bunch of grimy stuff from where you you put lube on your on your cases before you slide them up in there now in this case there's a little bit of rust on here from where it's sat and you know you have to keep in mind I reload in the basement too so that probably doesn't help so we'll just wipe that off now what I want to do is I'm going to take my drill here and I'm just going to chuck it up in my drill just like that and that way I can spin it easy and what we're going to do is we're going to put a, po a, a high speed polish on this expansion neck part of the of the shaft here. And uh, what I've got is some 600 grit wet dry sandpaper. And I'm going to use a little bit of cruel, which is a cutting oil. And I'm just going to put it on my sandpaper here and then place it right around the shaft there. And then give it a little pinch and then just let it polish. do that a couple of times, about 30 seconds of polishing on it. We'll just, just hit the back side there a little bit to get any rust or grime that's on there off. And then just wipe it off. Now that we've got that cleaned up, I've got a little bit of Blue Magic Metal Polish here. It's the same stuff I use for uh, 25 cent Glock trigger jobs or anything like that. I'm going to put a little bit of this Blue Blue Magic Metal Polish on a little applicator pad and uh, just apply it to the whole um, shaft itself. All right, and then we'll just let that dry on there for a few minutes, and then we'll go back and polish. All right, so our blue polish has dried, so we'll go ahead and just buff that off. Take it out of the drill. Now we're ready to reinstall it into our uh, into our dot. All right, so you can see now. Let me see if I can get a little close up here to show you how much cleaner and shinier that is. I should focus a little bit there. Anyway, um, I don't know if it's going to focus or not, but. It's much better and it's a lot slicker and uh, with uh, using that 600 grit paper as short as we were doing it you're not going to take enough off of that expander to uh, to actually hurt anything it's still going to work just fine all right so you don't have to worry about that then we'll go ahead and place it back inside of our die all right let's seat our die back in our vise just to give us a helping hand And we'll go ahead and tighten it back down. Yeah, I've already now while we were waiting on the uh, the blue magic the polish to dry, I went ahead and cleaned up the dye itself, and uh, you know got any of the little surface rust that was on there. 
and then put a nice little coat of wool on it. So now this is ready to reinstall back into our uh, back into our press and ready to uh, uh, decap and resize some more rounds. So that's pretty much the process of maintaining um, just cleaning up and maintaining your progressive dies or your Lee dies. These are Lee carbide dies. Um, and uh, you can use these for progressive press or single stage press, either one. But anyway, it's important to take care of your equipment because if you don't, if you neglect it, um, it won't take care of you. It won't do the prop, won't do the proper job. So, um, you know, we got this one taken care of. Like I said, the other ones, just pull them apart, give them a little cleaning, and uh, and you'll be good to go. So uh, until next time, guys, get out there, shoot some guns, be safe, and most importantly, have fun. See you guys later.